Paris, thank you. The Chicago Bears aim to end a disappointing season on a high note by beating the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday in what could be Matt Nagy's last game as the team's head coach. Joining us now to talk about the season finale against the Vikings is James Big Hat Williams, former offensive lineman for the Chicago Bears. Welcome back, James. Um, so, good. hey, so before we talk about the upcoming coming game, let's quickly give a shout out to Robert Quinn, who broke Richard Dent's single season sack record by recording his 18th sack against the Giants last Sunday. How impressive is it for him to pull that off to have such a great season personally, despite playing on a pretty disappointing team? Well, it's very impressive because when you think of a guy, when you think of guys that have a lot of sacks, you should be talking about a high-powered offense that is able to put up a lot of points, and the defense is able to go out there and pin their ears back. Robert Quinn did it with, you know, never knowing whether it was going to be run or pass because they didn't hold the lead very often. So, you know, he had to play both, and he played both very well this season. It was. It was great. It was fun to watch as, you know, as an ex football player, it was fun to watch him just the hustle and giddy up that he had all <laughs> season long. I love that. I love to watch the giddy up. So last game of the season coming up and likely there are reports uh, that it will be Matt Nagy's last game as Bears head coach. How would you assess his time as head coach of the Bears? Well, if if it is his final season as the Bears head coach, I think that, you know, you have to they brought him in here for a purpose. They had a young quarterback that they wanted to develop. They had an offense that needed work. And, you know, none of those things got done. Mitch Trubisky didn't end up panning out. The offense hasn't been able to score more than average, more than 17 points a game. So, you know, he didn't get done what he needed to get done. And, you know, he's a great guy and the players love him. But, you know, wins and losses are what gets it done in the NFL. Yeah, now former Bears cornerback Jerry Azuma took to Twitter this week to suggest that the Bears need to start uh, getting some input from former players on what the organization needs to do to get better. If you were offering advice to the organization, where would you start? Well, you have to, I mean, it, I, I don't think it's something that the Bears don't know. I mean, the bear, the upstairs, the brass of the Bears, they, they know that things have not looked well for a long time now. And the one thing that hasn't changed has been upstairs, the people doing the hiring and the firing. So they need help and they have to understand that, you know, in order to get better, in order to get this organization back into the prime, they have to make some adjustments. So if that means bringing in ex players that have played the game, that are still in contact with the game, that know people, to just put little bugs in their ear, it, it, it can't hurt, you know? So I, I, I don't know why they would not take advantage of that. So looking ahead to the game against the Vikings, Matt Nagy had intended to start Justin Fields, but now he has tested positive for COVID. So it looks like Andy Dalton will start. Uh, he had a good outing against the Giants. Do you think the Bears will want to bring him back next season as the backup to Fields? I don't think you can afford to. I think you have so many other glaring needs. You have Nick Foles under contract who, you know, would be a good voice in the quarterback room. But I I don't see why Dalton would start this week. You know, if, if he's not somebody that you're going to bring back. Use Foles. He had a good game against Seattle. Um, try and get a win at under your belt before the season's over and you know see what the next coach next GM next whoever they bring in wants to do next front office so Vikings were trounced by the Packers in their last game how do you see the matchup for the Bears against the Vikings this week well, I think it's going to be an interesting but very uninteresting game you're, you're talking about two teams that are hopefully going to hit the field with a lot of fire because both the organizations are in disarray right now. Both the teams look like they're going to be looking for new head coaches, new general managers. So, you know, all that has a trickle down effect. So these guys that are going to be playing on Sunday are, you know, they're auditioning. They're, they're auditioning for the Vikings, for the Bears, and for all the other teams in the NFL right now. So I expect to see a lot and hopefully a lot of young players out there doing as well. All right. So what's your big, bold prediction? 
I think the Bears can pull this one off. I think they're going to get a, a heavy dose of run. And, you know, if they can stop the run or at least slow it down, they stand a good chance. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give the Bears a 17-9 win over the Vikings. 17-9 win. All right. I love that you almost always root for the Bears, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> James Bickett Williams, thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Brandon. And, of course, Big Cat will be back on Monday evening, actually, to give us his final thoughts on the Bears' season.